Westbrook. Russell Westbrook last night, just, I mean, triple double, but it was tw 24 assists, 21 rebounds, 14 points. I mean, it's unbelievable. First player, first I, player to have two games of twenty rebounds and twenty assists. Yeah, the other, really? the only other player in history to have a game like that, a uh, twenty twenty game, is Wilt. Yep. And there's only three sure. games in history. Westbrook has two of them. Wilt has the other. And Wilt has the other. There's one. Um, there was a record I wanted to see. Uh, oh, ah, no, weird. It's it's his record when he plays and he gets a triple double. Mm. What his team record is. I don't have it in front of me. I can't find it. But from what I remember, it was like, it was like, yeah, the percentage. The percentage like point seven five three. But it was like one hundred forty four and thirty nine, thirty seven games. Like that's what the record is when he He's gets a triple double. Averaging a triple double this year now. He he could literally score zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists the rest of the season and still average a triple double. No. It's kind of crazy that this, that was the reason it's why. Incredible. Like, it's crazy. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Um, <laughs> Russell Westbrook records uh, when getting a double. Is that actually double. true? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah, it is. What? It is true. It's true. Could, yeah. He could literally do. He could literally go on the court and just stand around and pick his ass for the Are next sure? two games. And yeah, I mean the numbers. I mean it's like eleven rebounds. True. I mean it's only he. Like eight games left in the season. Yeah. So he's got this year. He's got twenty one point eight points. I mean, he's having yeah. Good I mean, eleven point three rebounds um, and eleven point two assists. Eleven point two assists. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's just incredible, and that's a career high in assists too, and rebounds. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, his record when getting a triple double since twenty fourteen fifteen, it's a seventy four percent win percentage. It's one twenty three and forty four. This is winning. Is like his record when he gets yeah. a triple double. Yeah. Like, like he's putting up. Like he's not scoring as much as he did. In his but he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to because he's Bradley Beal. What you, he won 16, 17 with his MVP season when he averaged 31.6 yeah. with 10 and 10. I mean, he's averaging more rebounds, more assists. He's shooting better this year than he did in his MVP season. I mean, he's shooting less, but he's shooting better in I'm, terms of percentage. I'm going to ask. That's, that's better for us. Yeah, I will, exactly. I will, he should not be going for volume. Exactly. I will ask this question because um, – Scott Brooks, the head coach. Oh uh, yeah, he's the second best point night. guard of all time. He said he said Russell that. Westbrook could possibly go down as the second best point guard of all time. No, I way. can't. I can't get behind that. It depends on how you define a point guard. It, it really. I I think like Steph Curry is like still, is yeah. a lock for number two. I mean, Steph, I don't think anyone's gonna top Magic. I think Magic's always yeah. gonna be. If anyone will top Magic, I personally think it would be Steph, and I don't think that's gonna happen. I agree. But I, I, it depends how you define a point guard. Like, if you define a point guard as a literal guy who facilitates the ball I around the court. I think Westbrook's one of the best athletes of all time and one of the best hustle players ever. Oh, yeah. But I, I don't think I can consider him. What I say, and this is nothing, I say this a million times, I can't, like, rank someone while they're still playing. There's exceptions. Like, Seth Curry is an exception. LeBron James is an exception. When Russell Westbrook ends his career and he has all his final accolades, then I'll – decide where I think he is. I think he can be top 10. It's like we talked about the best point guards of all time. Remember I said Chris Paul and like I thought that was like a lock but then we actually went through all the point guards and it's actually not. Like there's a ton of really, yeah, some really good like Jason, you got Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, you still got Oscar Robertson. I mean you got a ton of guys to put up there. Kind of not saying that Westbrook can't, you know, be ahead of those guys at the end of his career but I, I just don't, I can't see it right now. Another thing too, kind of going along the lines of that, Unless he he needs to win a ring, if or he doesn't win a ring, ring, I can't consider him top five in a, in that category. Nothing. I mean, so this is what I'm going to say about like the the Westbrook. Westbrook is like I think it's easy to overlook Westbrook how great he is. I agree because of I the fact that. that he doesn't win. I don't think his style of play really can win championships. It can't because he it, won one at this point. Yeah, exactly. Durant, He's played with yeah Harden, Harden. Harden. I don't think his style, but. If you isolate that from from who Russell Westbrook is, but you play the game to win. I mean, there's a lot of reasons to play. No, no, you play the game to win. Well, he's sure, but Chris, you, you put a team together to win. You play the game to win. That's why. I well, that's why I say I respect Westbrook I, what he does, but I wouldn't want him on my team. I, I mean, don't. this is what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> <clears throat> Why do you play the game outside to win? What's your? Opinion? I'm saying if you, because you play 82, ga you play 82 games a season. That's not a championship. That's the regular season. That's what people are judged upon as their regular season accolades too. <laughs> You're judged upon championships, but a you, I mean, it's bad, different in basketball because one player can win a championship, but it's also a team effort. Also, 
you know, if you look at, you know, what's the point of sports? What is the point of sports as a whole? To win. There are 80, it's a source of entertainment, and, and that's the whole point of sports, is to be entertaining. You're getting 82 games a season from an entertainment source versus, you know, the number of playoff games you have. I would, if, if a player can play well through the 82 games a season, you know, that is a source of entertainment. That's a different thing. Yeah, it's better to win. You'd rather win. But having a guy who's a great in the regular season, who can play well in the regular season. I'm down, I'm down with all that, for sure. Great point. Yes. If you, had to, if you had to lay everything out, though, the reason you put a team together, the reason you play the game, at the end of the game, you have a winner and a loser, right? Yes. And the season ends based on a winner and a loser, right? Russell Westbrook would have a ring if he weren't playing behind the top two player of all time and probably the greatest team of all time. How would he have Wait, a ring what? if he weren't? Because he would have the Thunder team that lost to the Warriors. Yeah. I'm yeah. confused how he would have gotten a ring. He said he would have had a ring if he weren't playing behind KD. No, if he weren't, if he didn't have to face that Warriors, that I mean, if they didn't face that Warriors team that was, you know, one of the greatest teams of all time. Okay. And if he didn't have to face LeBron James. They were up three one in that series. Are you talking about that? He yeah, that series. Well, he right, faced LeBron James in twenty twelve. Yeah. In the, in, yeah. The, in, the, in the finals. He could have had a ring if he didn't play behind yeah, two. Like, well, they were like also so young. Sure. Of course, with Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley didn't have a ring. So he, young. Exactly. I'm saying, of course, that's what you can say. And they're still great players. Charles Barkley is one of the best rebounders of all time. You can't take that away from him because he didn't win a ring. That's what I'm saying about Russell Westbrook. He, what he can do is beyond what most players can do. And now, I guess I know the triple doubles are way up in the league, and that possibly Luka or Jokic will be able to pass what he's been able to do. But right now in the league, especially when he did it in the league, before the league was playing the way that he was, he shifted the league a lot in the way that triple doubles became so much more. You know, he was the triple double king before triple doubles became so important in the league now. Yeah, he, I, did, he was doing like all those Oscar Robertson stats like for the first time in like yeah, years. Yeah. And I, I think I'm I not. Do think it's, it's, oh, look, basketball is weird because it's like partially about like champions and stuff, but it, championships and stuff, but it's also a lot about individual performances. And that's like where you have guys like that's the reason that we put both Wilt and Bill Russell in everyone's top ten. Exactly. You know, Wilt is the best individual performance player of all time. Bill Russell, it has no one's Leadership. ever going to have that many rings yeah. ever. Yeah. So I'm I'm not going to disagree with what you're saying. I think you know with what Russell Westbrook has accomplished and will continue to accomplish, you hold him to a certain standard. But there's only a certain level he can go to until he wins that ring. Like I'll hold him up to here. Like around that, like let's say I'm just throwing numbers. Like around that fringe top ten, I can't put him up until top five until top he wins a ring. I wouldn't put no, top I'm just 10. saying I'm just throwing numbers. I'm not even talking about that. But I'm just saying like you could hold him to a certain degree now, but like until he wins a ring, you can't put you can't elevate him to the next level. Mm. It comes down to winning a ring. I 